to ARC Tutorials and this is Bootstrap Top 55 Interview Question and Answer Series. I'll be covering this series in five parts. Each part will cover around, around 10, 12 uh, questions and today is the first part and I'll cover all the questions with detailed explanations. Before I get started with the question answer series, I have a Bootstrap 5 full tutorial playlist which has more than 40 plus tutorials and some live examples. If you really want to learn Bootstrap, you should check this playlist out. Also, if you like my work in tutorials, please do consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash tutorials. If you have any queries, any doubts, write to me at surya.aradhyay at gmail.com. Also, you can get all these uh, question and answer series uh, as a PDF copy at arctutorials.gumroad.com. Thank you so much in advance. Let's get started with the first question, which is describe what is Bootstrap. This is a first and basic opening question, mostly if you are a UI developer or a UI designer. The way to answer that is Bootstrap is a HTML, CSS, JS framework for building rich web applications with minimal effort. Bootstrap is a front-end framework that is used as a mobile first and um, approach for building mobile first applications with designs and it has a lot of components like uh, drop-down table forms. It has a great support for grids and um, other utilities. Okay, so keep it short and simple. Don't open it too much. Just talk that it's a front-end framework. It's a mobile first approach. It's responsive, it has grid, it has columns, it has components, and it supports different HTML, CSS, JS utilities. Okay, that's that's how you should answer the, this question. The next uh, logical question that comes up is, why use bootstrap framework? Okay, uh, there are a lot of reasons that you can talk about. Here are some of the things, but if I have to answer it, I'll say bootstrap is a leading free and open source framework which is compatible with all, most of the modern browsers. It has a lot of responsive features. It's easy to use and there are several components, utilities. Uh, it has mobile support and large number of themes, templates available. Also, it's used by large enterprises, so it's reliable. It's not going anywhere. Okay, so talk about some of these points that I've listed here uh, to highlight why use Bootstrap. Then the question naturally also can be extended like, can you talk about some of the striking features of Bootstrap high level? Okay, so if they ask you high level, you can talk that there are a lot of CSS utilities, right? So almost anything and everything that you can do in CSS can be, uh, is already defined in Bootstrap as either part of component or as a utility. Provides a scaffolding, which means that you can develop a full-fledged grid system, responsive grid system for different devices and screen resolutions. You have different layouts that you can choose from, fluid or fixed layouts. Talk about some of the components like uh, tables, buttons, forms, accordions, links, button, header, cards, much, much more. Some of the um, plugins, right, uh, extended can be used with JavaScript, but Bootstrap 5 you doesn't need JavaScript, okay? But some of the JavaScript uh, components plugins can be used. Now you can customize the SaaS and create our own mini framework sort of things on top of Bootstrap, okay? That's how you should answer this question, uh, especially when they talk about high level features. Next they'll talk about some, describe some of the components of Bootstrap, UI components, right? Now, this is where um, you will talk in detail, okay? Like alerts, buttons, checkboxes, radio buttons, carousel, drop-down models, navbar, toast, tooltip, popover, scroll spy, uh, forms, right? All of those uh, things, popovers, you can talk about a lot of UI components, okay? So, pick few that you are confident and answer those as starting and explain them in detail. I have listed a lot of things here. You can use this for reference. What are the different options for adding Bootstrap to your project? Okay, now this is a definite question. If you, you are going for a UI developer role, they'll ask you this with Bootstrap. What are the different ways you can use Bootstrap? First, you can use ready to use compiled CSS JS code. Okay, like you can just download the JS and CSS and include it and start using it. You can use a full-fledged SAS uh, source files, customize them, extend them, build on top of it however you want. We can also use it as a third party, just bootstrap CDN, right? CDN stands for Content Delivery Network. 
like a URLs that are hosted and given to you. The last option is the installing through package managers. Let's say you are working with Angular, React or Vue and you want to use Bootstrap, you can use it via either NPM or you can use Yarn or etc. like Composer, RubyGems. Right? So these are all the different mechanisms you can add Bootstrap to your project. I have covered all these details in the tutorial. Make sure that you check out my Bootstrap 5 playlist to learn all of these details. Now let's talk in detail about some of the Bootstrap utility classes and functionalities like explain Bootstrap container. Right Now very basic thing, everybody should be aware of this. Bootstrap container is a class which is useful and creates a centered area within the page of the viewport. Okay. Now containers are the most fundamental component in Bootstrap. You, the first thing you write inside a body is a container, right, for any element. It behaves like there are two types of containers, right? One is, uh, both are responsive, like one is fixed, one is fluid, okay? I'll explain them in, as we progress in this series. But for now, all you should know is Bootstrap is a most fundamental component in Bootstrap. It behaves like a container where you place your HTML code and then where the content of the site can be placed. Containers by default are responsive. Okay, we added by adding the class dot container. Okay, remember that. Now, what are the different layouts available? Right, I talked about fluid layout and I talked about fixed layout. Right, when you say container fluid and container fixed, right, so we have two types of layouts available. Fluid layout is used when you want to create an app that is 100% wide. Okay, 100% of the viewport screen. Fixed layout is a standard resolution. It's responsive, but you will use it fixed layout with 940 pixel option, right? Again, that's the only difference. Like both are responsive, but fixed will get it into a fixed layout, whereas fluid will occupy 100% of the width. So talk about those layouts. Now define fluid layout, right? I'll talk a little bit more about each of it. So fluid layout is useful when you need a, to make up a app which involves full width of the screen, okay? Now the fluid layout will automatically adjust itself according to the browser size. If you are watching the bootstrap on a 1200 pixel, it will be 100%. If you are watching it on a 1600 pixel, it will still spread, right? So the class for that is dot container hyphen fluid, okay? When you add this class, it will become full width container and it's entire width of the viewport it is responsive okay remember these three keywords now talk about fixed okay now fixed layout is responsive but cannot adjust itself according to the browser size let's say you are watching a website on a 1200 pixel right it will not scale to 1200 it will still be 940 pixel in most cases that you define when you add dot container it will provide a responsive fixed width. Remember that fixed width is the keyword here. Whereas in fluid, it will be 100% width. Now, explain typography in Bootstrap. Bootstrap sets a basic global display background, typography, link styles, all of those, right? Like there are default styles of background, of padding, there is typography, there is a predefined font size base, font size line height, and then there are styles for link, there is styles for text and those things. So talk about typography has a lot of details like how your text will look, heading, uh, subheading, muted text, font sizes, default font, all of this forms your typography. Okay. And why is typography used? It's used because you don't want your team members to write extra CSS. Everybody should use a standard set typography and that's where Bootstrap provides that. Alright, that brings us to the end of this particular uh, episode and part one. I'll be covering five parts in total. In the next part, we'll continue learning about more questions. I hope this tutorial will help you really prepare for your interviews and will help you crack that interview. To get all these questions as a PDF copy, you can visit arctutorials.gumroad.com. Thank you so much for joining. I'll see you in the next episode.